Se você já assistiu as séries Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, Inventando Ana ou Bridgerton, então saiba que você se rendeu ao poder de Shonda Rhimes. Nesse vídeo, a produtora super poderosa da TV americana falou comigo sobre esse histórico e a nova série, Rainha Charlotte. Chegou recentemente na Netflix a série derivada de Bridgerton, A Rainha Charlotte, sobre uma rainha que existiu na vida real e foi casada com o rei George III, que ganhou o apelido maldoso de O Rei Louco. O George enfrentou transtornos mentais que até hoje desafiam os historiadores. Enquanto a própria Charlotte tem a sua cota de polêmica, já que muitas teorias afirmam que ela seria a primeira monarca negra da Inglaterra. Why me? Charlotte. There are worse fates than marrying the King of England. Bem, eu falei com a Shonda sobre essa série e sobre como foi retratar personagens reais dentro da fórmula romântica de Bridgerton. Confira. Well, I remember that when Shondaland announced the Bridgerton's adaptation, I thought that doesn't look like a Shonda Rhimes show. It was a, a period piece, very white, very straight. But then it makes total sense. So, can you tell me about how was it to inject this word building, your word building, to this show? To me, you know, all my shows feel the same because they are about a woman stepping into her power, but they're all so different as well. And I wanted the sort of the glamour and the glory as well as the emotional issues that were going on in the show. What is going on at Buckingham House? Your marriage cannot go wrong. Queen Charlotte uh, has a, a race conversation that lacks in Bridgerton. So why did you decide to go through this path and give this explanation? Um, I don't necessarily know that I was thinking about giving an explanation. In Bridgerton, it is, in the Bridgerton world, that is old history for them. So for me, I wanted to make sure that we were telling what that history is. You know, we say that George and Charlotte's love unites the, the, the kingdom. So I wanted to see that happen and watch it play out. Hello, Charlotte. Your Majesty. To you, I'm George. Uh, this is also a story with more of a real story on it. And uh, how was it to find the balance between fiction and history? That wasn't difficult in the sense that I really did my research on the real Queen Charlotte. I did a deep dive, so I really understood the real Queen Charlotte, so that when I decided to stray from actual history, I knew what I was straying from, and I was purposely straying. I, I also say that we're not actually telling the story of Queen Charlotte, the actual Queen Charlotte. We are telling the story of Queen Charlotte as we know her in Bridgerton. So the Queen Charlotte we have is, is much more a fictional character then she is a real character for us. During this research, what did you, what surprised you the most about her? I mean, I think that the most obvious thing is that she's, she stayed married forever. They had all these children. They clearly, clearly were in love. And that was really beautiful for me because I'd always pictured in my head, this relationship as being kind of one of duty, you know, but they really loved each other. And I thought that was beautiful. Um, I also really enjoyed I got to um, visit Kew, which is where King George lives. And I really enjoyed getting to see the spaces that they lived in. Everything is much smaller and much less glamorous than we see now, but it was also just a much simpler life. Uh, by the way, King, King George and his mental uh, issues are a crucial part of the show. So how was it to develop that part of the story? You know, nobody actually knows what King George had. Um, they don't know if it was physical, they don't know if it was mental. So I wanted to really be careful about how we portrayed him and how we portrayed that illness. So we worked to craft behaviors that were a little bit ambiguous because I really didn't want it to be, you know, this whole mad King George thing might not have been true. And I wanted to sort of walk that line and respect it. She is his wife. She should know. There is nothing to know. Queen Charlotte uh, uh, blackness is part of the a conversation in between historian people. So, uh, what is your point of view about uh, during this research? What do you think about uh, her and her roots that are important to this story? Well, I mean, there are a lot of theories for sure. I'm pretty fascinated by how much people need to debunk the idea that she had brown skin. 
Like that to me feels worrisome. That is so important for everybody to know. Like she didn't have brown skin. Why is that important to you? You know, why right. is that important? So I've been working from that theory. Be careful. You are the first of your kind. You must secure your position. E esse foi em cartaz. A gente se vê com mais dicas na semana que vem.